there. Very, very interesting. Um, this is not necessarily politics. You know, my channel is not just about politics in as much as I like to share. What I say is I like to share revelation knowledge, the kind of knowledge you can use on your day-to-day -day activities, in your day-to-day -day living, based mainly from the word of God. I, I talk about the politics of Nigeria, especially where it concerns morality, where it concerns the fact that People just want the right thing to be done, just as God expects us to do the right thing. God has put eternity in our hearts and God has made us realize that we are not on this earth forever, that we're here for a while and we will one day leave this earth. We need to leave our mark in the sense of time and we need to leave a good legacy in whatever area of endeavor we are involved in. So today I want to share something very interesting with you, you know. A lot of my friends who are abroad are not interested in anything about Nigeria, Nigerian politics especially. Yes, you may tell them news about Nigeria. Oh, hi, is your mother? My father, I spoke to my brother, I spoke to my mother. You know, they, they can listen to anything else. But when you want to talk about the politics of Nigeria, they are not interested. In fact, they are not even interested in hearing things about things that affect human beings. Not, not only politics, at least issues that affect human beings. The killings going on, the mass kidnappings going on, the, the lack of empathy and lack of respect for human lives. When you want to talk about it, most of my friends have brought you say, I'm sorry, Jess. I don't like talking about anything concerning Nigeria because the people in Nigeria are are wicked they are very mean to one another they said to me forget the government forget what the government is doing or not doing but what about the people what they do to one another is wickedness to the maximum a man of god told a story the other day he said that there was this young man who was living in nigeria with relations at a time at the time he was living with these relations the relations wouldn't give him tea he said when they're taking tea in the mornings, you know, tea, bread, milk, you know how we do it, breakfast in the morning. They wouldn't give to this young man because his, his own parents are very wretched. He's living with them. And he said they can give him rice. Yes, when they're eating rice or when they're eating swallow, a bar, we know what it is. But when it comes to tea, they wouldn't give this young man tea. So this young man would just sit and be watching them drinking tea with bread and milk and eggs or whatever they used to drink the tea every morning they wouldn't give him eventually this young man has grown up he's a grown-up man now he found his way to the united kingdom he lives in the united kingdom where job job is not something you sweat over as long as you have your hands and legs you work so this guy even with little education is working in the uk he's feeding himself he's paying his rent he's doing everything he needs to do and guess what that family that treated him like, like a beggar in Nigeria are the ones begging him for money now. They are begging him for money. He keeps sending them money. Oh, please send us money. Send them. He sends them 100 pounds, 200 pounds, um, 50 pounds. He sends them whatever he has, you know, but it's an irony that they are the ones begging now. You know, if he wants to be mean, he will say, well, I'd like to teach you people how a beggar should be treated and wouldn't send them money, but he keeps sending them. So, we, we see in Nigeria the fact that the people are so much into religion, but the wickedness is so perversive across, across board, not just amongst politicians. In the church, the GOs, the pastors who are collecting millions in offerings are, are just starving their junior pastors, starving them, enslaving them. They're, they're junior pastors, the people who are tools in the hands of God in the church. They are just treating them like slaves. They pay them peanuts. What they pay them, they cannot pay their, uh, their house rent in Nigeria. When it's time for house rent, they keep up the, to beg that GO for money for house rent. The place they are working, at least in the United Kingdom, whatever job you're doing, you'll be able to get money to pay your rents. That is certain. Out of the salary you earn, you'll be able to pay your rent. 
When you pay your rent, you pay your bills, your light bills, your gas bills, your transportation, everything, and then you go shopping. Wherever the big man shops, that's where you can shop. As far as it's grocery, something you can eat. Something you can, as long as it's not designer wears, as long as it's grocery. Even designer wears, a time comes when they do sale and slash the prices 50%. So even the poor can also shop at the designer shops where the rich shop. But I'm talking about the basics now. The fact that you work in Nigeria, you're working under a pastor, the money he pays you cannot pay your rent, you cannot even feed well, you can't eat three times a day, but the man is living in opulence. He's living in opulence. And when you talk, they say, ah, he's anointing. Uh, it's God that is blessing uh, our geo, Blessing him to enslave you, to fleece you. And you're living wretched, serving him, serving God under him. It's wrong. Something happened to me today that, you know, made me think about these levels of wickedness going on in Nigeria. There's a young man they call Stefan. You see his name on Facebook. On Facebook. He uses my videos. He goes to my YouTube channel, the Jessica Brimer channel. By the way, have you subscribed to my channel? Please click the subscribe button on my channel. Go to the Jessica Brimer channel. Click subscribe. Click the thumbs up button and also share. Share this video, please. So he goes to my, the, my YouTube channel, comes to this uh, my YouTube channel, and he lifts my content. He plays the video. If the video is... 25 minutes he will play the whole 25 minutes video on his channel he will just start by saying hey i, I see the hearts if they, if they, if they bring them to you listen to this video just listen to this video then he will play my videos the first time he played one of my videos he got 245,000 views 245,000 views i'm sure by now he's gotten more views this happened over a month ago he got 245,000 views the analysis I did on the politics of, um, was it the Shoyinka one or the OB one? One of those, you know, he got 245,000 views. I said, wow, but he didn't give me any credit. In journalism, when you write something, you give the person credit. When we were in the university, when you do research, you write a term paper, at the end of your term paper, you will say, this is called from this book. You put the names of the books you use, the authors of the book. You give them credit for using their content because you're not going to pay them any money for using their content to write your term paper to pass your exams. But in this case, this guy is using my content and Facebook is paying him money. For every 1,000 views you get, Facebook will give you about $3. $3. So if he, got, he gets 100,000 views, times three dollars how much is that now he got two hundred and forty five thousand views with my own content yes he gets that number of views because he's been on facebook for some time i'm just i came late to the party because i just wasn't interested in social media because of all the rascality in social media but one day the holy spirit said to me you are a preacher of the gospel you need to be where the people are you need to go where the people and people are on social media so that's why I changed my mind and I said, okay, let me be on social media. Otherwise, I wasn't really keen on it. But the Holy Spirit said to me, what's the use of your information, your knowledge, your teachings, if you can pass them on to people? So I came back. I have the YouTube channel and my Facebook channel, of course. So this guy takes my content. That particular one, he got 245,000 views. Another one he took, he got 140 something, 143,000 views. The other one he got, he also, you know, three of my videos so far in thousands, he's getting the views. And of course, at the end of the month, he's going to make money off my videos. So I tried to contact him. I said, look, good, you're using my content. It's nice to know. I'm happy about that. But please, can we do some collaboration so that I can benefit from it as well? I sent him the test on his WhatsApp. He replied, he said, collaboration, how? You know, he was so condescending about it. And this is just a young man that can, he can barely string two sentences together correctly in English. I don't, I don't um, 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 mock him or I'm not making fun of him for not being able to speak English or not being able to analyze the way I'm analyzing because it's God that gives us the giftings we have. And it's God that gives us the opportunities we have to be able to get education. Not everyone has that opportunity. So fine, he's able to, 
you know, say whatever I have to say in pigeon and then slot in my video and use it, using it to make money. So I sent him that. He said, collaboration, how? And I was like, so I said, well, I gave him the benefit of doubt that he didn't understand what I said. So I explained, I said, since you're using my content, I wouldn't begrudge you that. But I would like to also benefit from the fact that you're using my content because it's my intellectual property. So I would like you to please highlight the fact that you have gotten this video from the Jessica Brimer channel on YouTube. You also mentioned your comment because I read through the comments on his and everybody said, who is this woman? Where can we find this woman? Where is this woman? And all he needed to do was just put, put my channel address. You don't lose anything by doing that. One thing led to the other. He started arguing with me over the text message. And he said, okay, I should send him the videos where he, my videos that I'm talking about. So I went to his page. I took pictures of them. I put two that say, these are, you know, the videos. There's still one I need to send to you. But I just need you to say, this just from the Jessica Brahma channel, you put it there. So he sent me a text and said, well, write it the way you want me to do it. So I wrote it the way. I want to say, no, I think I better delete this video. If you want adverts, you, you should pay me for adverts. So you're using my video. You're making money with my video. And just to put my name as the name of my channel to recognize me, you feel it's too much advert for me, for me, just mentioning me. So sometimes I say, even if you're not educated, you didn't go to school to learn that when you use people's content, that you have to give, put their name in the footnote or in the bibliography. If you, but somebody is calling your attention to it, shouldn't you just humble yourself and say, never mind, madam, I like your content. As long as you allow me to keep using it, I'll give you the credit. It's called giving credit to whom credit is due. But this young man is like, no, you have to pay me for advertising. So you see why Nigeria would not really progress as it should. You come to the developed world, whatever it is you want, to them, the more the merrier. You tell them you want, they say, okay, you want it that way, that's fine. You go to a doctor here and the doctor will ask you, how do you want this? How would you want this? How, they, they, whatever decision they're taking on your health, they are asking you, they are going along with you. They, it, I was pregnant at 55 and the doctor said to me, can you do me a favor, Mrs. Brima? And I was wondering what favor he wanted me to do, you know, because he's a very well experienced um, gynecologist, was the one in charge of me, you know, and my condition. And he was very nice to me. So he said, one day he checked me, checked my blood. He said, Mrs. Brima, can you do me a favor, please? And I was wondering what favor could this doctor be asking of me? He said, the ferrous sulfate you're taking, you're taking one tablet a day. I say, yes, sir. That's what you asked me to take. One tablet a day, ferrous sulfate, to put iron in my blood. Yes, sir. I'm taking one tablet. He said, please do me a favor. Start taking two tablets every day because your iron is still a bit low. That is how a doctor, a doctor was talking to me, a patient in the United Kingdom. They have, they have this way of dignifying you, no matter who you are. So you can imagine the culture in Nigeria where a young man, that guy cannot be more than 26, 27 years, or even if he's 30 years, I'm much older than him. And I'm telling him, if you want, if you must use my content, give me credit. I was begging. He said, no, you, 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 want, me to, you want me to do free advert for you. And can you imagine how Nigerians reason? Can you imagine? I have a lot of content to give. I have I have been a journalist for over 30 years of my life. I have um, um, history, a lot of history behind me. I understand what is going on in Nigeria. I give the content. I give the right analysis. He saw it. He grabbed it. And he's using it in his, in his, um, in, on his page in, on Facebook. And he thinks it's too much for him to give me credit. That's Nigeria for you. A Nigerian will see something good for you. He doesn't need it. He will rather destroy it and give it to you. Even a relation of yours will see that you have a link to a particular office. He will go to that office and say, don't allow my sister come to that office again. Don't allow my sister see the governor's wife. He will go as far as that. That's the wickedness that is entrenched in Nigeria that anybody that runs out of that country and runs to the Western nations, 
They just say, wow, I don't ever want to go back to Nigeria again. A friend of mine in the US told me that her mother said, when I die, if you make the mistake of carrying my corpse to Nigeria, I will wake up and I will kill all of you. That's how angry this woman is with Nigeria. She got to US, the time they gave her citizenship, they gave her a big mansion, a big house. And gave her, because an elderly lady, they gave her everything she needed, take care of her. She said, you mean this can happen in this world? And we are dealing, giving each other maximum wickedness in Nigeria. Nigerians, it's not just about Obio or about Tunubu that has Kanola in his arm. It's about the wickedness that has been entrenched in the system and how to flush out this wickedness. It's in the heart. It starts from the heart. It starts from the heart. There's this song I sing that my husband loves so much. He said, just sing that song for me. Something more than gold is something more than gold. Excuse me. The spirit of the Lord in the heart of men is something more than gold. More than gold. Something more than gold is something more than gold. The spirit of the Lord in the heart of men is something more than gold. It's not just about going to church, sleeping in the church every day, every week. Yet corruption has eroded the very fabric of the nation. Corruption has destroyed lives. It's not just about going to church. It's about having the spirit of the Lord in your heart. Do you have the spirit of God in your heart? Do you have mercy, compassion, love, tolerance? The ability to help another person to, to be of, of, of good service to humanity, to think of the other, the next person, how you can be of good, how you can you, you can do something that would benefit, be of benefit to everyone around you. It's not just about you. The Nigerian leaders are so foolish, amassing wealth and stealing money, amassing. The moment you drop dead, that's it. The wealth is no longer yours. Let's have a change of mind, though. <laughs> let's have a rethink. Let's, let's, let's be more compassionate. Let's be more considerate in our relationships. Let's consider others. <laughs> it's very important because that's what the Lord is looking for. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. This is Jessica Brimer channel. <laughs> I'm delighted that you stopped by. Please subscribe.